How's it going, Four Barrel Family? Coach Zach here to chat with you guys about Tuesday, August 25th, Metcon. Yes, August 25th. I doubted myself for a second. Um, we are going five minutes of a monostructural movement. So run is written in. If you have a bike, you can bike for five minutes. If you have a rower, you can row for five minutes. Um, also, most people don't have an assault bike or an echo bike at home, but if you have an actual just bike, mountain bike, road bike, you could even tool around the neighborhood for five minutes. We're just looking for some sort of cardio stimulus that we can maintain for a moderate pace of five minutes. We know everybody can run though, so um, if you do not have a bike or a rower, just run for five minutes. I would go 30 seconds out, 30 seconds in, and just kind of continue that. Um, if you wanted to run away from your workout space for two minutes and then run back toward it, you could do that. Remember also um, plate shuffles, toe taps, high knees, butt kickers, jumping jacks, those are all going to work. We have double unders in a minute in another portion of the workout, so try not to do jump rope for that five minutes. From there, we're gonna rest three minutes, let that heart rate calm down, really catch our breath, and then we're gonna go into a five minute AMRAP of 10 dumbbell or kettlebell deadlift, 10 dumbbell or kettlebell alternating plank drag through, and then 40 double under or 80 single unders. We're gonna rest three minutes again, and then we're gonna repeat both of those five minute AMRAPs one more time with that three minutes of rest in the middle. So a total of 20 minutes of work today, off and on split between five minutes of work and three minutes of rest. For those kettlebell or dumbbell deadlifts, all the usual cues, make sure we keep that back nice and flat. We're shooting for that dumbbell or kettlebell to land right in between the arches of those feet. We're sending that butt back, keeping tension in those glutes and those hamstrings. From there, we're gonna drop down to that alternating plank drag through. We're gonna go palm planks today. And remember for these, you don't have to keep your feet together. We can take those feet shoulder width. We're gonna squeeze our butt, squeeze our belly. We're gonna pull that kettlebell through, press that hand into the ground, pull that kettlebell through. Anti-rotation drill here. So we're trying to not rotate those hips excessively. excessively. And then remember, we want active hands. So we talked about this a couple months ago when we were doing wall walks and handstand holds. When your hand is planted in the ground, make sure you're squeezing those fingertips. So get a really good grip in that hand as you drag through with the other. And then from there, we're gonna go double unders or singles. As always, we wanna gently tuck those ribs down just a little bit. Thumbs are 45 degrees forward. And we're focused on hearing that rope hit the ground and that nice even jump. We're trying to avoid those pike jumps. We're trying to avoid those donkey kicks and we're trying to avoid excessive arm swinging. One more time, five minutes of any cardio movement of your choosing, running, biking, rowing, rest three minutes, five minute AMRAP, 10 kettlebell or dumbbell deadlift, 10 kettlebell or dumbbell drag throughs, 40 double under or 80 single, rest three minutes. Repeat that one more time. Hope you guys have a ton of fun. Remember, it's deload week. Maintain about 70 to 80% max effort today. And I'll see you back here tomorrow for some skill strength and another Metcon.